moved on from that nanny job um, uh, like a year later and got another one, this one this time in Malibu. And um, great guy, Bert Borman. And Bert, you know, saw in me more than just, you know, because at that time I wasn't a nanny anymore, right? Um, and said, you know, yet again, this idea of start your own business and, and think of a low capital business. And so what I did was I figured out the best foot traffic chance of sending something was uh, Venice Beach. You know, 100,000 people a weekend. So I had the right idea. I didn't know why I knew. I just realized a lot of people got a fair chance. But what I'd saved up some money, and I went downtown LA and bought these damaged T-shirts. By damage, I mean like a tiny pinprick. They're not really damaged. You and I would all wear them. It's that Nordstrom's wouldn't sell them. And so these things retailed. Um, the shirts were retailing for about um, uh, 24, uh, and the pants and, and skirts about 36, or the other way around. And I bought everything for two dollars a piece because they were damaged. Some of them were quite damaged, but most of them were nothing. So I went to Venice Beach, and I um, couldn't afford a parking lot space. They're a few thousand dollars a month for a piece of parking lot in those days. All I could afford was to rent a garden fence, and I went and knocked on someone's house. It was the old Charlie Chaplin building on Venice Beach, if you may know, right by Speedway. And he said, I want to rent this garden fence. And they'd never even been asked that before, I don't think. And they rented it to me for a thousand a month. A thousand a month for a piece for about like 10 linear feet of fence, I think it was. And um, I hung my t-shirts out there. And I remember the first sale I made. You know, certain things that are pivotal, etched in your memory. And wondering that first morning, first Saturday, I'd invested all my money, right? Kind of crazy move. I'd, I'd got up the ladder, maybe to be an idiot and fall off. But my instinct told me, as long as the profit margins are massive, and that means you know, you're, you're focusing that you're making enough per item, you may be able to make enough to make the nut and make a profit. And I remember some woman skated by, and I was wondering, oh my God, you know, how, I've never sold anything like that before. And this woman came up on a roller skate and said, oh, hi, how much are these? And I was frozen. I was like, uh, uh, this is uh, 18 and this is 16. She went, oh, really? Oh, um, I'll take three of those. I'm like, oh my God, someone's giving me money. And it was the first time I actually realized, oh, I almost fluffed the whole sale. And I, and I was like, oh my God, this could really work.